Will life on Mars trigger mutations in humans? In the search for this answer, and to turn the red planet into our second home, scientists and space pioneers are rewriting the rules of human evolution. This is Explorium, and welcome to our channel. From beefier bones to supersized brains, welcome to a world where Martians might not be what you think. Buckle up, and let's explore the astonishing prospect of evolving into a new species on the red planet. The prospect of humans colonizing the unforgiving terrain of Mars might hold the key to speeding up our species' evolution. Imagine the thrilling notion of Mars, a planet some 34 million miles from Earth, serving as a catalyst for profound changes in human biology. Scott Solomon, the evolutionary biologist at Rice University in Houston, Texas, has delved into the speculative realm of how our colonization of Mars could shape the future of humanity. The allure lies in the Martian environment's stark contrast to our home planet, setting the stage for potent natural selection forces to come into play. The journey to Mars is no easy feat, with considerable obstacles to conquer before we can even establish a permanent colony. But once we're there, the differences in radiation exposure, gravitational forces, and lifestyle would usher in evolutionary adaptations at an accelerated pace compared to the gradual shifts that occur on Earth. The crux of Solomon's research centers on the pivotal role of isolation in this grand venture. The level of isolation we maintain could dictate the swiftness of our adaptation to this alien world. Here, on our home planet, evolution often necessitates complete isolation over thousands of years from other populations of the same species. As early humans and their ancestors ventured across the Earth tens of thousands of years ago, they became isolated in various regions for generations, sometimes for a millennia. In these isolated pockets, some populations developed unique traits to navigate their specific environments. For instance, humans dwelling at high altitudes might have acquired features that helped them endure the extreme conditions. However, much of this adaptation is considered plasticity, the ability to adjust physiology to different surroundings rather than genuine evolution. Modern humans exhibit remarkable adaptability, showcased by our capacity to thrive in diverse environments without evolving into distinct species. Yet, Mars presents the tantalizing prospect of total isolation due to numerous factors, be they economic, political, or the emergence of planet-specific diseases. This isolation might just be the catalyst for accelerated human evolution, potentially unfolding over hundreds of years under the right circumstances. These mutations might give rise to traits that help us endure the Martian wilderness. Scott Solomon, an expert in evolution, explains that more mutations provide nature with more tools for selection. However, these mutations might not follow a planned path. If chance smiles upon several individuals, whether on Mars or their Earth-bound ancestors, it could trigger something similar to a genetic revolution. Early Mars settlers forming a tight-knit community may share some of these chance mutations, possibly something as ordinary as having a lot of redheads among them. It's like a genetic jackpot that future Martians will inherit. However, Solomon points out that having unique hair or skin color doesn't instantly classify them as a new species. Nevertheless, the very first generation of Martians may exhibit noticeable differences from Earthlings. And to know what's even more shocking, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The shift in gravity and the novel environment may mold them into distinct beings. In fact, they might appear different, act differently, and bear physical changes that set them apart from those who stayed behind on Earth. The daunting radiation on Mars isn't just a challenge, it's a catalyst for change in the human story. It could speed up our genetic evolution, unleashing a whirlwind of mutations. Cultural traditions unique to Mars could have a lasting impact on how people evolve. For example, the way we eat on Mars, if continued over many generations, might change how our bodies digest food. Epigenetics, which means how our actions and surroundings affect our genes, could also play a role in human evolution on Mars, but we don't completely understand this science yet, as Solomon mentions. He talks about a study on astronaut twins Scott and Mark Kelly by NASA. Scott spent a year in space while Mark stayed on Earth, and scientists found differences in Scott's genes, but we're not sure what these changes meant in the long run. However, with advancements in gene editing tools like CRISPR, it might be possible for people on Mars to guide their own evolution instead of relying on natural selection. Perhaps it's ironic, if Earth becomes unsuitable and we go to other planets for a new home, the only option to assure the human race's long-term survival may be to evolve into a whole other species. If we eventually come to inhabit multiple worlds scattered across the galaxy, over time, we may see the evolution of a plethora of new human species, Solomon said. 
we should recognize that here could be intended consequences for who our descendants become many generations from now. Also, on the other hand, some famous scientists and tech gurus like Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk have urged us to make Mars our new home. They think that living on another planet could save our species if something terrible were to happen on Earth. Elon Musk said something like this recently, Our future will split into two paths. We'll either become a species living on many planets, exploring space, or we'll be stuck on Earth until something wipes us out. It's not such a crazy idea. Scientists and engineers are making amazing technology for space travel. Plus, Earth has its fair share of threats like extreme climate change, deadly diseases, and the risk of nuclear war. Remember the asteroid that supposedly wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago? But here's the interesting twist. The idea of settling on Mars might lead to something unexpected. Experts say that spending a long time on the red planet where gravity is weaker, sunlight is less, and radiation is stronger could change the bodies of Mars dwellers. Some even believe that these colonists could evolve into a new species. In simpler terms, trying to become a multi-planet species might make us into multiple species. Scientists think Mars might not have any life, including harmful bacteria. So if humans set up a super clean colony on Mars, the colonists' immune systems might forget how to fight off infections that could come from visitors, humans, or animals traveling from Earth. To avoid this risk, colonists might keep their distance, even in intimate ways. Imagine a future where people on Mars are not quite like us. Even if they don't turn into a completely different species, they could have various physical changes and differences. According to Solomon, one possibility is that their bones, including their skull, might be much thicker. This could give them a sturdier and more robust appearance, somewhat resembling members of an ancient proto-human group called Paranthropus, which includes P. Boisier. Why would Mars residents have these changes? Well, it's all about gravity. On Mars, gravity is about 38% of what we experience here on Earth, so the theory goes that colonists with thicker bones might have an advantage. Over time, as their bone density gradually drops due to the lower gravity, their initial bulkier bones might still remain strong enough to prevent dangerous fractures. This evolutionary pressure for stronger skeletons might be especially important for female colonists because they face a higher risk of pelvic fractures during childbirth. Solomon argues that Martians should stop reproducing with Earth humans. Evolution is faster or slower depending on how much of an advantage there is to having a certain mutation, Solomon adds. So if humans on Mars gain a mutation that raises their survival advantage, that's a good thing. But he says they'll be passing those genes on at a much higher rate than they otherwise would have. Now, if you find the idea of beefy-boned, big-headed Martians intriguing, there's more. Think about their eyes. Mars is considerably farther from the sun than Earth and the weaker sunlight on the Martian surface might affect their vision. Dr. Natalie Cabral, a planetary scientist, explains that Mars often looks like a cloudy day on Earth. Our eyes are used to a certain level of light on our home planet, so adapting to the lower light conditions on Mars could lead to changes. This might mean that their optical systems and brains would develop new ways to collect more light on the retina, or they might even develop larger eyes or new kinds of retinas to cope with the Martian environment. Interestingly, here on Earth, there's evidence that the increasing popularity of C-sections might be linked to babies having slightly larger heads. So the idea of Martians with beefy bones, big heads, and evolved eyes might not be as far-fetched as it sounds.